where am I, is the usual question. In your case, when might be more apt. Welcome to Fun Factory Gaming. Back in 1999, we warmly received the first Soul Reaver game that in many ways was a breakthrough, and it was a milestone in the legacy of Cain series. In today's video games, the open world is now commonplace, a single continuous gameplay area that offers a vast canvas for developers to populate to varying degrees of success. At the most fundamental level, what makes these sandbox games work is their ability to stream world data on the fly as you play, with no loading whatsoever to disrupt the flow during traversal. What is now the norm was once the most ambitious of gaming concepts, one that initially came to fruition in the console space with the classic Soul Reaver for the original PlayStation. The title was released during a difficult period for PlayStation 1 gaming. The Dreamcast was just around the corner in the West and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on Nintendo 64 had redefined expectations of how ambitious an action adventure could be. Despite this, Soul Reaver managed to leave its mark as one of the most technically accomplished releases the PlayStation would see during its lifespan. With vast worlds to explore, fluid animation, and superb audio production and monumental dialogue acting, Crystal Dynamics' epic is still highly regarded today. Key to its success is how it transplanted what we know today as Metroidvania elements into a vast for its time 3D world. The idea being that the player focused on obtaining new abilities in order to unlock new routes through previously explored areas. Are we within the stronghold of the Seraphan Priesthood? Yes, but the glorious days of the Seraphan have long since passed, I'm afraid. This is a more cynical and indecorous age. My mercenary army now inhabits this stronghold. We strive to honor the memory of the Seraphan with our own humble crusade. Is this the Vampire Vorador? Yes, the scourge of the Circle. The most depraved and decadent example of his whole degenerate race. He slaughtered six of my fellow guardians as they cowered defenseless in this room. And you somehow survived this massacre? I and two others. The circle was devastated. Only we three were spared. How convenient. You'll forgive me if I don't naively devour every scrap of information you toss me. You have a reputation for deceit. And who has slandered me, sir? Your malefactor, Cain? The one who betrayed and destroyed you? Our common enemy? Consider the source before you judge me too harshly. We'll forget about rekindling our old friendship then. But consider an alliance based on our common ground. We both want Cain dead. I can help you do it. You don't want to meddle in this, old man. I know all about your sordid little schemes, but you're simply out of your depth on this one. You underestimate me, Raziel. Let me show you. Even now, Cain is lying in wait for you, unaware that I've snatched you out of the time stream and brought you here to me. See how he lingers at the very pillars he is destined to destroy, foolishly confident that he has eluded your grasp. The pillars are still standing in this time. Yes, Raziel. They are the embodiment of the divine force which preserves the life of our world. We who serve the pillars maintain their delicate balance, and Cain is destined to be the fulcrum upon which that balance turns. I believe you have already endured the wasteland wrought by his terrible, selfish decision. Cain's very existence is a cancer upon this world. As long as he lives, all of Nosgoth is in peril. You may never again be human, Raziel. But you can re-embrace the essence of your humanity and the nobility of your Seraphim heritage. Go to him, Raziel, and end this. But first, you will need to find your way out of the stronghold, and in this, I'm afraid I cannot help you. 
My soldiers will not understand your appearance here. They will try to kill you. You needn't fear them, of course. They're no match for you. Try to keep the casualties to a minimum. But do what you have to do. All great movements require a few martyrs. Alone now, I surveyed my surroundings and noticed a second time streaming chamber, its entrance identical to the first, but with one distinction. That crystal was significant, but how, I had not yet discovered. It is with great happiness that 25 years later, we receive news of the release of the legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 1 and 2 remastered next 10th of December. This remaster is a compilation of refreshed versions of two parts of the cult action-adventure game series that takes us to the ghostly land of Nosgoth, now with refreshed graphics with upgraded character models and sharper textures. After the events presented in Blood Omen Legacy of Cain, the main character vampire Cain rules Nosgoth with an iron fist. The package is the result of a collaboration between Crystal Dynamics, the company that started the series, and Aspire Media. During the game we take on the role of Raziel, a former lieutenant who after incurring the wrath of his ruler, was executed by him. Ultimately, Raziel is resurrected by the Elder God, who sees the vampires as a threat to the cycle of reincarnation he controls. Both games included in the Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 1 and 2 remastered package have received a refreshed graphic design. The creators did not limit themselves to just adapting the originals to work with higher resolutions and panoramic screens. Developers have focused on character models and object textures. In addition, the color scheme has been changed and it has become more vibrant than it was in the originals. Many people would love a remake, but for me and many players, this remaster makes all sense for a 25 years old game that was loved, replayed, and remembered by many gamers. Please let me know if you enjoyed my video by giving it a like and leaving your comment. If you like my work, please consider subscribing to be informed about future videos. Thank you for your support and friendship.